the stress experiment. Some researchers at University of Heidelberg made an experiment of testing stress of new doctors who were sitting for a job interview. The interview process was normal, but they made it complicated by giving doctors difficult math problems to solve for 30 minutes. After the experiment, the researchers took blood samples of the doctors and analyzing the antibodies and pathogens, they found that there was a proof of high stress level and that had the potentiality to damage their healthy cells which can cause premature aging. In another experiment, in the University of California, they conducted the experiment on 39 women. They found that women who had sick children had high level of stress in comparison to the women who had healthy children. The greater the stress is, the greater chance is there that could damage their cells. So this is clear that stress has a direct connection with your aging, your physical health and mental health. In this video, I will tell you where the hell this stress comes from, what stress can do if we cannot do anything to it, and thirdly, how we can beat stress and enter into the relaxed zone. Stress is an interesting persona. Stress arrives when it senses that you are busy in receiving signals which potentially can be termed as problematic or dangerous. Scientifically, stress can be considered as a boon for us because in past it saved our ancestors to survive in hostile surroundings but, but it's good to some extent. If we take too much stress, then it can do only harm. And also the lifestyle became very different now in comparison to our ancestors as the years passed. We started to take more stress and most of them are very relevant. To make it more clear, let's look at this chart. Cave people stayed relaxed most of the time in a day. Modern human stay busy most of the time when they are awake. That means they take stress many times. Cave people took stress only in rare situations. Modern human take stress, stay in anxious mode as they every minute wait for notifications from their phones. Cave people they stressed the most in a life or death situation. Like think about a lion came all of a sudden in front of them. Modern people, the brain takes anxiety of the notification as a threat and sends signals that now it's time for stress. The idea how the concept of stress is changed over time. As the time goes, these small stresses like this phone notification or the stress about your office create a snowball effect and it may cause depression, anxiety, insomnia and even high blood pressure. So what should we do to take care of this? We should be aware of our high stress level lifestyle and this is how you can do that. Be more mindful on reducing stress. Look at the pattern on how stress is controlling you. You need to be more conscious. The mindfulness instructor Roberto Alkiber once said, we have to learn to turn off the autopilot that's steering us in an endless loop. We all know people who snack while talking on the phone or watching news. You ask them if the omelet they just ate had onion in it, they can't tell you. So the mindfulness makes you understand what thoughts you are currently thinking and how you are reacting to those thoughts. It helps you to filter out the thoughts that are making you stress. Another way is to practice meditation. What meditation do is to simply make your consciousness level higher. So meditate every day. Force yourself to meditate. In the end, I want to say always remember a little stress is always good, but do not let stress overpower your mind. I had this information from the book Ikigai. The book is too good if you like these kinds of information. It's on my recommendation. Hope this will help you somehow. Share this video with someone and I will meet you in the next one.